All right, hello everybody. This is Nick from the ArcadeHunters.com. Welcome you back to LSOG, the little shop of games here in wonderful Lutz, Florida. And you can check this place out. There's some t-shirts. We just got done with the usual uh, monthly tournament. So at uh, the little shop, they like to do tournaments um, once a month, every first Thursday of the month so if you're ever in town make sure you stop on by it is uh, we do it on match play we do uh, flip frenzy so you get about uh, two hours of good pinball and get to play with a lot of people all over Florida they love to come here and play some games cash prizes and sometimes they have giveaways and as always whenever they do um, launch parties for the newest games so you can see there is the owner over there checking out some of the stuff we got uh, show up a uh, lineup of some of the games somewhere in the tournament. So we got um, Star Wars Premium and Pro over here. You're getting the, uh, the the last of those Star Wars out from uh, Chicago because it's set up for tournaments, not like the usual. So we got the um, Demolition Man on steroids is back. Supposedly the guy bought it didn't like the um, the changes that they did on the code or something like that, and I don't know, but. Got to play it. it it's it, it's pretty different. It's got different music on it. I forget um, the person that it's called uh, Pinnovating.com, but this was like uh, I think one of ten that they did. But I love it because they redid the um, the side rails. Sometimes like these, especially on Demo Man and um, Terminator, get really taken up. You can hear uh, Bride singing. You got a Gotly Jungle Queen over here. I see him. One that I have not gotten to play in a very long time. This is one of the original ACDCs. This is uh, ACDC Pro. How do you know it's an original? Because it's got the giant face of Angus on there. What they did was they, um, the newer ones, they redid the play field so it didn't have that ugly face on there. I know a lot of people didn't like the face, but you know they couldn't have the uh, mini play field on a Pro version, so they had to do something with it. Um, this one does not have the bell mechanism. They added that bell mechanism and they changed the play field on the later versions of it. But everybody knows like this is one of their most popular games. They flooded the entire uh, continent of, or the island of, um, I'm gonna get the geography people angry at me, but they flooded um, Australia <laughs> with uh, ACDC machines. They love their ACDC, they love pinball, so they brought it out. So over here we got you got a machine bright a pinball. You got another machine bright a pinball. You could hear her singing. Um, they got a Rush Pro. Um, they put Rush LE on it just so we had another game in the tournament because it was really packed here before. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Premium uh, that we uh, that we kind of broke in the middle of a the game. They got to check the trough switch on it. it wasn't uh, registering when the balls were uh, going down. You can see they have the little insider kit over here. And we got Star Wars Premium, Star Wars Pro. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like they're doing the comic one anymore, so that's the one that a lot of folks want. They want that comic one. We got a Led Zeppelin Premium and Led Zeppelin Pro. These ones are just coming off the line. It's the final run of Led Zeppelin, so if you want to get in on Led Zeppelin, make sure you contact your distributor. Get in. They will not be making any more. It's like uh, Star Wars, Led Zeppelin, and um, Guardians of the Galaxy are ones that are getting uh, taken out of the lineup because they're going to obviously move on to other games that they got to build. You know, they're still building Avengers. They're still building Mando Premium, Mando Pro over here. The Mando Avengers Pro with the topper on there. Very nice. Yeah, Mando Premium. We'll say a um, good friend over at Slipstream Pinball who does some... Uh, He's on Twitter. He also does some streaming. He got the um, the kit that someone made um, for the metal ramps. So this one has the metal ramps. This one has the plastic ramps. It does kind of cool with your eyes a bit because you get kind of like a crossover of the plastic. It's okay. I still like the way the Pro plays better than the Premium. You know, it is cool with having the little... Um, the Mando head with the extra play field. I like this because you can do the sneaky skill shot and get in there and bump it around. You got Rush Premium and Rush Pro. Love my Rush Premium. A lot of fun game. Hopefully I don't get the uh, copyright play fly by night. And it's Rush Pro. Got Godzilla Pro hanging out over here. Got uh, Lior's um, Pop Bumper Cat mod that I have on mine. 
Uh, they got Russell, uh, you guys know, Little Shop of Games is an authorized seller of Lior, who does the art of pinball. He has some really cool mods. I know he's working on a Indiana Jones one for uh, Pinball Adventure. We got our Cactus Canyon. This is the special edition. I should really get a video of this before they don't uh, have it anymore, but they are an authorized Chicago gaming company, or CCG, so um, you can get their games from, from here at the Little Shop of Games. And we are waiting, you know, the Lyman Cheats um, Cactus Canyon 2.0 code. Still waiting to see um, how that's going to work on there. I'm very excited to see breathing some new life into that game. Another uh, John Borg classic, The Walking Dead. Somebody did like it's like a zombie girl with her head backwards on there. Look at that little Woodbury sun. That looks pretty nice. Looks like some different doors on the uh, on the barn over there. Got a. I have to say, as Arnold Schwarzenegger, that Abadal. James Cameron's Avatar, uh, something was going wrong on this, so they had it off. This is the regular one. They, had, of course, had the premium. This one looks like they put the um, the toy in there of the uh, of the alien rather than the guy. So it's pretty much all the people that bought the uh, all the toys for Avatar. They were just putting it into the pinball machine. Here is a uh, brother from another mother, another Deadpool. You can see that obviously my other video but yep this is the one that they have here they got deadpool everybody loves their deadpool check it out a survivor with the topper dungeons and dragons I forget the the guy's uh main cade was his name on youtube um his name is john pio i think it was um he hasn't posted in a long time i hope he's doing okay i think he's um from brooklyn he had a nice collection of games and he told me he had a dungeon and dragons this is years ago when i was talking to him i haven't talked to him in a long time got some um electric mechanicals over here it looks like uh bc or fifty thousand bc it says aladdin and apollo over there i'm not sure what the one is over there it looks like looks like something more modern the cash box but yeah there's a dungeon this one's weird because it's got two slits of flipper buttons on here. So what you do is if your ball goes over here, it hits these star rollovers. You gotta tap the, the button on the side to do the magic save. And these little um, metal things come out and it rolls the ball over on there. Really good music, not that much of a game, but it's pretty much that whole era of the 80s where they were just getting into really doing awesome music with that stuff. Very cool design, you know, and get to see the um, this type that often. Gonna go over here, show off the two Jersey Jack games they got their uh, Toy Story 4. This is the limited, it's $12,000 one, the collector's one's coming out. Have a good one, man, all right, you take care. But yeah, they, um, they should be getting the um, collector's edition soon. They're rolling off the line in uh, Chicago. Should be out soon at the end of the month. And then they still have uh, Guns N' Roses limited edition here. I swing around. Yes, we got Revenge from Mars in 3D. Looking really nice. They cleaned it up nice. Used to see this game a lot, but not that much anymore. Another World Cup soccer, the dog soccer. They just put, uh, Holden was telling me, he goes, yeah, we just put a brand new ball on it. I have not seen one spin that fast. It was devious. The thing was sending it all over the place. Still one of, uh, one of my favorite games. I take, took a while to get into it. One of John Papadou's uh, first games. Real big pain in the butt with this one, you know. It's got that World Cup license and never going to be able to make another one of these again, unfortunately. Well, they had the World Champion Soccer that they did on the um, pinball arcade, but that didn't last that long. We got the Gottlieb Volcanoes still here. It was uh, funny. They, tur they turned the game off and they turned it on because, they, you know, they have to do the rules and stuff like that. And the... Uh, the, the speech board on it started just making this oh, like really garbled sound. It was pretty funny. But yeah, it's the Star System 80 from Gottlieb. They made all their different star systems or whatever they were called. And last but not least, we'll show off the Party Zone. Shout out to my friend Brendan back up in New York. He's got, uh, we did, um, he bought one from uh, the Pinball Show over in Allentown. We took it back and we did a whole entire shop job. On and cleaned it up really nice. Of course, this has uh, 
LEDs, and I know my friend Brendan does not like the LEDs. He keeps them all original with the incandescent lights on it. But this, I've seen some folks do where you get into the multi-ball and it turns the entire play field orange. So when you do it with the orange LEDs, it has a really cool glow to it. It looks really nice. But that is a look here at the little shop of games for your September 2022 review. And there's the boys over there. There they are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you give them a call. If you are here in the Tampa area, they'll set you up nice with some games. As always, authorized Jersey Jack, Stern, and Chicago Gaming Company. They also do some arcade games and stuff like that. You never know. It's always different every time we come here, so that's why I always get a video to show off all the stuff they got. So make sure you guys give them a call and check them out. A little shop of games. So once next, that's Nick from the Arcade Hunters. Thank you all very much for watching. We'll talk to you guys later. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.